So Ace and I are at the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries right now. We just met up with Jason, who's a gentleman I got in contact with to go out to go shocking and sampling for these fish. So today we're going to Lake Robertson, which is in Lexington, Virginia. It's really small, it's like a 34 acre lake. Supposedly it's super clear. It's got some big bass in it, so. Hopefully we can shock up a 10 pounder. <laughs> Made it to Lake Robertson. Getting out on the water. It's super clear here. It's crazy. My name is Jason Hallecker. I work for the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries as an assistant fisheries biologist. And today we're at Lake Robertson in Rockbridge County and we're electrofishing. Um, this is our electrofishing boat that we use to sample this fishery. Uh, and basically, how it works is back here uh, towards the stern of the boat, we have our trusty Kubota generator, which uh, powers the electrofishing unit. Um, that that uh, current is piped through our electrofishing box, which allows us to dial in the current. So we just stun the fish uh, when we uh, go when we boat over top of them. Uh, from there, we move up to the probes of the electrofishing unit, and this is the anode or the positive end of the field. So the boat itself is the cathode or the negative end. So the fish are stunned uh, in the vicinity of these droppers and sometimes if they're right on the edge of the field they're forced to swim towards them and we scoop them up with big nets and throw them in the live well and after about 15 minutes we'll work up the fish, uh, we'll measure them, uh, get their weight and then make sure they're healthy and happy and send them back on their way for you guys to catch. Alright, we are out here on the boat with Mr. Steve Reeser, Jason, and Colin. They're up on the net. You guys ready up there? Ready. Yeah. We're gonna try to shock some fish. Pretty cool, man. Gigantic. That was tank. That thing was. I thought for sure we had this fish. I mean, he like swam right through it. Yeah. If they get down to about that eight foot, on the six to eight foot level. Oh, wow, that's, that's a There you go. Nice. Got about 20 pounds in five minutes. Looking for the mark we did last week. It's the, the left pelvic. Yeah. Left pelvic. Left yeah. pelvic. So, so we're looking for that and then we're gonna clip the anal. This guy. That's not That's one a we good one. last week, is it? Nope. So what part do you clip? We'll show you here. Okay. That's a solid fish. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's all of five. <laughs> yeah, that's at least five. He is 5.30. She's almost 21 inches. And he's no clip. Alright. Let me see this real quick. Just cut a bit of the anal fin. Clip off that little bit too. You want a distinct clip so you can tell what you're looking at gotcha. next time. We good, Reese? We're good. See ya. Off he goes. She goes. 
Yeah, you'll notice we're not nursing the fish back into the water. Um, it actually helps a little bit for them to hit the water. But just with, with trout stock. Got gotcha. you. Kind of jolts them. Yeah, kind of jolts them and says, "Get swimming." Got gotcha. you. Because you know if they're still kind of woozy and you put them in this weedy stuff a lot of times they'll just kind of get lost down in there yeah and there's a chance that they may not you know recuperate as quickly so we try to get them out away from the weeds and just have them hit that water and they start swimming hit it and go hit it and go 445 400 180 and we saw some toads in that corner up there he's they were they over in that corner gigantic yeah. that, yeah. it looked like baby grass carp they were so big <laughs> 172 yeah, dude, the one of them was. They got away. They were, they were, like you said, there was, probably eight pounds. Yeah, crazy. that's why I, the first time I saw it, I was like, "Is that a bass?" <laughs> it, they look kind of funny to me because they look like they had giant heads and then smaller bodies, and it could be that yeah. they were spawning out. Yeah, you know, and they did and just, you know, starting to finish up maybe. Right, they were definitely bass though. Yeah, they were definitely bass because there's nothing else in here that looks like that. Yeah. Three fifty nine. Oh, we got a recap piece. Three fifty nine. Yep. So you guys have got that one before? Yep, last time we were here we got it. Nice. So how many did you all catch last time? I don't know. You know, Rick? I think we had 160 per hour. Wow. That's a lot of fish. So we've gone through and shocked three quarters of the lake. We're going to do the rest, I guess, another halfway around. 43 so large mouth. Sampled 43 large mouth the first go around. There's a few. Woo! Oh yeah. Holy cow. Go ahead, go ahead. Hold up, Reese. Stolen. That was awesome. You probably got like a quarter. Yeah. There you go. Nice one right there. Back, back too far. Oh, oh yeah. Three sixty-eight. Three thirty-two. Three twenty-five. Last few stragglers. 196. I think that does it. Driver. Time for round three. How many did we sample uh, on that, that trip? 590. 500 billion. 117 so far. It takes us a year to see 117 fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, round three of shocking. Oh, whoa. Carp? That was a grass carp. Yeah, That's giant a carp. Wow, that one, those came straight up out of that tree. It's so crazy to see them come up. You can see them get shocked yeah. and just straight up. Zoom. Oh, there's a good one right there. Oh no. Nice. So it's like an eight foot radius off of, or in between the two, eight feet down and around. Pretty wild. Oh, there's a good one little guy. Let's see if he gets got. Oh yeah. There he goes. There we go. Bloop. Oh, it was in the net. That was so close. All right, that was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Was awesome. Good day. Very good day. That was sweet. Do you guys usually do three sets or three shock three um, times? You just kind of try to circumnavigate the whole lake pretty much, or we'll do um, four 15 minute runs so we get a complete hour. Got gotcha. you. The final two. Yeah, 316. <laughs> 240. I'm Steve Reeser. I'm a fisheries biologist with the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. And some of the work we're doing here today 
is part of a, a larger statewide research project with some of our small impoundments. And the main objective uh, with this research project is to determine um, our sampling or our electrofishing efficiency. And when we come out to do this, are we getting the best snapshot of the actual population that's out here? And the other thing we've been doing today, you saw earlier we were clipping some fins, a harmless little way of marking fish to find out uh, if we've recaptured them from a previous sample. And by doing that, multiple times marking all fish and putting them back, we're actually able to generate a population estimate, how many fish are in this lake or how many fish per acre. Colin, you got anything? Uh, that summed it all up. <laughs> <laughs> that was freaking awesome. I know, you could just see them coming up. That was very, very cool. Big camera died, so cool outro is not gonna be very cool. <laughs> yeah, we're finished up here on Lake Robertson with the Virginia Department Game and Inland Fisheries guys, they were very cool. Huge thanks to you guys for taking us out. It was a great day. I mean, dream come true. This is something we've wanted to do for so long. We finally got to do it. But now we're going musky hunting. Musky hunting. If we catch a musky, the day is just gonna be too good. <laughs> well, we're kicking it old school on the GoPro because the big camera is completely out of battery. We are back at the Shenandoah again. We have two hours out here after electro fishing. We're gonna try to catch a muskie. Ace's first time out here on the Shenandoah. Last time, Steven missed one, and I saw one. Hoping these fish are gonna to bite today. Ace? I hope to catch one. <laughs> so we have about two hours out here today. Gonna to see if we can get a ski. Yeah, Ace pointed out the water is definitely more stained than normal. That might actually help us today. All right, so. Ace is throwing a jerk bait around, so I decided I want to throw something different. Gonna try the spinner bait again. I did this last time, didn't get any bites or follows, but it's a really big three quarter or one ounce spinner bait. A lot of people commented that they were happy to see me throwing this. I think it's gonna work out here today. Oh, there's one right there. See it finning? On top. It is on top. That was cool. Okay guys, so I switched up from the Lucky Craft Pointer 110 to the Double Eight. At least that's what Matt said it is. So hopefully it gets my first musky. <laughs> so we're just working all different parts of the water column right now. We're fishing shallow and deep. We're fishing up against shallow water next to deep water, big flats. Trying to find one little bite. Oh, I see one. Yep. On the spinnerbait right by him. See it? Look look up there. You see the big shadow? You don't see it? It's swimming to the left. I'm going to cast right to it. I think it's huge. Yeah, it's big. Big and, big and up shallow. Oh, man, we're getting down to the last 10 minutes. No bites, but we saw two, so that's always good. I have yet to come here and not see a muskie. Woo. So that is where me and Ace's day ended yesterday. Uh, I just wanted to give a huge thanks to Steve, Jason, and Colin for taking Ace and I out. It was a phenomenal time. You guys are all extremely knowledgeable when it comes to any kind of fish. And I mean, we learned a ton, way more than just going out and shocking fish. It was an awesome time. And I can't wait to do that again soon. Really, really appreciate it guys, thank you. So after the electro fishing, Ace and I went musky hunting. We had like two hours out on the water and saw two, one that was pretty decent size and then one really small one that was spinning on top. Not really sure why they do that, so if you guys have any insight on that, go ahead and comment that below for me. And yeah, that about sums it up. I got a roll, I way overslept. I didn't go to sleep till 5 a.m. and now it is 1.40. I haven't slept this late in years. So, I got a roll, time to go. See you later.